last year of high school. And I was confused about where life will take me. And in this fear, I turned to YouTube to take me away from reality. But even after watching all these different YouTube videos, I still felt lost and numb. Kind of like everything I was watching was bullshit. Not even that. Life in general was bullshit. Then all of a sudden, this video popped up in my recommended. Sneeko, the Kanye of YouTube. I watched it because at the time, Sneeko was becoming infamous for all of his controversial takes and basically copying Andrew Tate. But what captivated me wasn't who the YouTube video was about. It was the YouTuber who made it. I don't want to admit this, but the video kind of made me cry. Like, I actually felt something through the video. It felt real. So I continued to binge watch, binge watch all the videos that he made. And every video seemed to have a great story behind it. And after I finished all of them, I found myself craving more. And there it was. YouTube. New Wave. What is YouTube's new wave? On Google, I didn't find a direct definition. But there was a Reddit link to Coles and Tamir's Reddit, which states, YouTube's new wave is a film movement aiming to democratize storytelling by recognizing popular social media genre like vlogging as a more respected medium of artist expression on the same level as painting and literature. So then I went to ChatGPT and it states that as an AI language model, I do not have access to the latest news updates, YouTube films. So basically they're individuals who can tell amazing stories through their YouTube videos with movie-like editing. These videos actually feel like they have substance and feel like someone cares behind the, they actually care about what they're making. These guys are the start of something new. Well, that's what I thought. The problem with the new wave, yeah, they're pretty inconsistent. The way all these big YouTubers got big in the first place was because there was a time where most of them was posting every day or every other day. Comparedly to these guys, they'll post occasionally, like once a month or probably have a gap have like a three month or like a year gap with that it doesn't really hold an audience can like comparatively to the big youtubers these guys can now post whenever they want and they will still have a strong audience because they're building this audience over the years and i know i'm not the type of person to say that well i just started but what i'm trying to say is that the new wave has quality but what's slowing down the growth is its quantity. In total, they're both important to create a more successful movement. Do I believe it's the new wave of YouTube? Yeah, a little. I don't know. I just needed a video idea. Uh, I don't really know how to end this. Uh, if you liked it, 
uh, subscribe. Uh, I'm going to try to post more. I'm going to try to be more active. But dealing with college and this and that, it's pretty hard, but it's cool. Been just cool. Be able to favor and left, eh. She know what she need, all I need, all she blessed, eh. Give it my best, eh. Yeah, I got my heart, I'ma stay here with a knife. In my back, what's with that, eh? 21, I love them, they're my brother, that's my stack, eh. Metro made the beat, so you know that it's gon' slap, eh. Yeah, it's gon' slap, eh.